Hello kiddies, I'm Chris from Techspert and today we're going to be checking out another cheap as cheesy chip smartwatch, the Xiaomi Imilab W12 to see if it's a solid affordable option or just a sack of bollocks. You can grab the Imilab W12 direct from Imilab and other online retailers, usually at a discount as well. At the time I shot this video, for instance, you can snaffle it for $66, so about 50 quid. So roughly the same price as a couple of pints at an all bar one. But anywho, I've been rocking the Imilab W12 smartwatch on my wrist for about a week now. So here's my in-depth review. And for more on the latest and greatest tech, please do pog subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers. Now, according to Imilab's own website blurb, the W12 is a versatile all-in-one smartwatch featuring a fetish design. And I gotta say, it's a very nicely designed smartwatch, certainly for this price point, but I definitely didn't pop a boner while it was strapped to my arm. But you know, some people may well get their kicks from rocking impressively affordable timekeeping smart devices on their wrists, so who am I to judge? You can grab the Emilab W12 smartwatch with a darker casing and a choice for either red or blue straps. Unfortunately, this black strap version, which I was sent as a review unit, wasn't available at the time I shot this video. But I've got to say, the Xiaomi watch is impressively slender and very light as well. You barely even feel it when it's on your wrist. Just 11 millimeters thick, so certainly no near as bad as a lot of more premium smartwatches. It's actually not far off uh, Samsung's new Galaxy watch. Strap itself is constructed from silicon, very soft and easy on the skin as well. I've barely had this thing off my wrist this past week and no skin irritation or anything to speak of. And those straps are actually removable as well so you can pull them off so to speak and replace them with a leather band for instance if you're going to be hitting the town in the evening. Give it a bit more of a premium look. Meanwhile, the case in itself is a metal alloy, so very lightweight, but also pretty rugged as well. This thing has been battered off all kinds of surfaces and stuff, and so far no signs of scratching or scuffs. And same goes for that watch face as well. There's no mention of Gorilla Glass or anything in the official specs, but again, it's been bashed off all kinds of tables, counters, etc. And again, no scratches, although I wouldn't fancy its chances against a jagged rock or a brick or something. And the Xiaomi Imilab W12 is also IP68 water and dust resistant. I took it swimming in a chlorine pool, absolutely no worries there whatsoever. It does actually support swim tracking as well. Now the smartwatch sports Bluetooth 5.0 connectivity and when you do want to pair it up with your smartphone you'll have to download the Glory Fit app either from the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. And this may sound like an app you might use to find a special kind of gentleman's lavatory in select nightclubs but it is actually just your standard fitness tracking smart wearable app thingy. When you sync up with your watch, you'll see your heart rate data, your sleep data, and also your blood oxygen levels if you've been measuring those, or tick through to the main page. You can also see your target steps and how many you've actually managed today. The vast majority of my step count is uh, just wandering down to the local Greg's for my morning steak bake. Obviously, I like to stay as healthy as possible. If you tap device, then this is where you can access most of the main sort of settings and toggles for the Imilab W12. So for instance, you can change up the watch faces, more on that in a bit. You can see whether your heart rate and your SPO2 levels are monitored 24 hours a day. You can also set up the uh, notification support for your various apps. Although not a massive amount of apps are supported, has to be said. So like Gmail, Messenger, WhatsApp, I could get notifications for, but I use Zoho Mail for my work email, for instance, and that was not available. Notification support can be quite ropey here on the Imilab W12, unfortunately, depending on what kind of smartphone you're actually connecting to and all kinds of other factors. Sometimes I really struggle to get any notifications to pop up at all on this thing. That's even after tinkering around with all kinds of app permissions, resetting the app, resetting the bloody smartphone, all kinds of stuff. And a couple other very useful features chucked in there, including raising your wrist in order to wake the smartwatch, very handy as it doesn't have an always on display, and the do not disturb, which is essential if you're gonna be rocking it on your wrist all night long, you don't wanna be disturbed while you are asleep. As you can see, you can actually schedule that and everything, very useful. Now I've gotta say, the actual display itself is a bit of a cracker, even though it's not massive at 1.32 inches, as you can see there, surrounded by a pretty chunky bezel, but it's still nice to see a round display on a proper cheap smartwatch, and it's pretty crisp, it's an HD, display. TFT though rather than AMLED but despite there's still some pretty vibrant colour reproduction and respectable viewing angles as well. The image doesn't darken too much as you tilt the smartwatch away from your face. But of course one of the disadvantages of having a TFT screen rather than an AMLED is the fact you don't get an always on display feature so you're constantly having to wake up that screen whenever you're want to check the time or whatever. And there's also sadly no auto brightness feature here, so you will have to manually go into the settings and tweak that brightness if you want to lower it down or boost it all the way up. 
Although thankfully on the maximum brightness, no problems whatsoever with outdoor visibility. And then you can tweak it all the way down again if you want to save the battery life. Now, as you may be able to tell, this is a custom watch face that I designed via that Glory Fit app. If you get bored of your current watch face, you can just jump into the watch faces section on Glory Fit, of course, wait a couple of seconds, and then eventually all of your different options will pop up. It's a little bit slow, but it does give you a wide variety of analog and digital options, as you can see there, all kinds of crazy designs. I'm guessing it's Year of the Tiger, because there sure are a lot of Tiger watch faces. And lots of really nice options that, uh, you know, just your standard sort of analog and digital effort. If you find one that you like, just hit synchronous dial, and it will sync up, not particularly amazingly fast, but not horrendously slow either. I've seen a lot worse, that's for sure. And you do have a few chucked on here by default, which are pretty decent as well. But anyway, you've got maybe 100, 200 different watch faces to choose from here. So there's bound to be something that you'll like. Otherwise, worst case scenario, just dive on into custom dial. You can actually create your own using any image on your phone. I could even take a photo right now of my cat if he hadn't just decided to bugger off or else just using any image that you've got on your phone downloaded or previously taken with the camera and the UI itself pretty straightforward just tap that top button in order to wake up the watch otherwise you can raise your wrist if you've got uh, that feature if you swipe a left like so you access all of your various widgets including your heart rate monitor SPO2 levels your weather sleep tracking and good old media controls the media controls are admittedly pretty basic, but they do seem to work with any streaming service and inbuilt apps. So for instance, I'm using Deezer here. You can pause or play your music. You can skip a track forward or back. That's basically it. There's no uh, audio controls. You can't change the volume or anything like that. And as you can see there, absolutely zero track information or anything either. Very limited customization in the actual widgets themselves. And if you swipe uh, right like so, you've got access to all of your various apps that are stacked on here. Not very many, gotta say. It is quite a basic selection and there's no ability to download more apps onto the Xiaomi Emilab W12 smartwatch. But all of the main bits are present on here, like stopwatches and timers and alarms. You've got a find my phone feature. And then all the various health tracking and other stats tracking as well. If you swipe down that display, you've got access to a small number of settings, including the auto brightness. Again, you've got the find my phone and the settings menu is very simple. As you can see there, most of the customization is done via glory fit. And there's also no built-in microphone or built-in speaker on this thing. So don't expect any voice assistant support. You certainly can't take calls via it. All of your basic fitness tracking is present and correct. So as I mentioned before, you've got your 24 seven heart rate tracking, which seems to do the job absolutely fine. No issues there. Uh, you've also got your SPO2 monitoring if you wanted to monitor that 24 seven. Could potentially be useful for helping to detect any underlying health issues, but personally, I don't really bother with it. And of course, all the usual stats are supported here, including measuring how many steps you've taken roughly, at least how much distance you've covered and how many kilocalories you have burnt off as well. So not even enough for a small fun size Twix just yet. And certainly not enough for a Greg's steak bake. But then if you tap this bottom button, that will load up the sports tracking mode. You can also do it from the main apps menu. Then you've got 13 different modes on here, including most of them sort of more common stuff, running, walking, biking hiking, a bit of yoga action if you're into that. Some stuff you can easily do at home like sit-ups and ping pong if you don't have a ping pong table. Personally, I prefer boxing so I just went with the free mode. And depending on what sports mode you choose, as you see there, you get a bit of feedback on, again, how long you've been going for, what your current heart rate is, etc. And of course, the sleep tracking here on the Imolab W12, pretty optimistic overall, like most smartwatches, let alone the budget ones, generally reckons you're still sleeping even when you're kind of lying, still staring at the ceiling, wondering what the bloody hell it's all about. So finally, the battery life. And again, that website blurb reckons you'll get around 30 days of standby use from a full charge of the Imolab W12. Well, I found the actual battery life depends quite heavily on how much you're doing with it. If you've got the 24-7 heart rate track and the 24-7 SPO2 monitoring, etc. But basically, you can expect between one to two weeks of standard use of this thing before it runs dry. So that's a pretty solid effort for any smartwatch these days, although of course the features are quite limited compared with a lot of the more expensive rivals. You don't have that always on display, for instance. And then when it is time to recharge the Emilab W12, we got a slightly awkward magnetic dock bundled in the box. You just gotta remember to take that with you if you are going on your travels. Although, as I say, with close to two weeks of battery use per charge, you shouldn't need to take it on anything but the longest trips. And there you have it. That is my review, my full lifetime experience with the Xiaomi Emilab W12. So yeah, not a bad budget smartwatch, quite a lovely design. That's certainly the best bit of this bargainous wee wrist rocket. 
pretty decent screen as well for a uh, smartwatch around this sort of budget though you can find AMOLED smartwatches at this sort of price point. Again, check back some of my other smartwatch reviews for some of the competition. But if you want to watch that looks really nice, fully customizable, and you've got great battery life on this thing as well, and all of your basic sort of fitness tracking and everything, then job done. So it'd be great to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. Please do plug, subscribe, and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech, and have yourselves a bloody wonderful rest of the week. Cheers, everyone. Love you.